everybody, welcome back to another episode of Disney Done Differently. So recently in Disneyland, they opened Avengers Campus, not Marvel's Campus, Avengers Campus. And in there is actually, it's called Pim's Test Kitchen. Pim is a play on a character that uh, became Ant-Man and he was, due to Pim particles, he could grow and he could shrink. I digress from all the information with my comic book knowledge, but in there, they have some amazing food where it's overgrown or it's really small. And today, we're gonna make my version of the chicken sandwich. Come on, let's have fun. All right, to, to start, chicken. Uh, we're gonna take our chicken, we're gonna butterfly it, and butterfly just slicing three quarters of the way through the breast. It's one large breast. And what you want to do is, as you cut through, you can make your slices so that it's easy, even. What we're going to do, the technique that we're going to be using today is a uh, paillard, which just means to be pounded out. This is a very large chicken breast, so if you want it to be cooked evenly, you're going to want to cut it in half. How do we do that? All right. We're going to use a Ziploc bag. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of avocado oil. And the reason I do that is so that nothing sticks. So it doesn't stick within the bag as we pound out the chicken. I like to go skin side up when I do this. I'll put this right in here. Nice. Give it a quick close. Traditional regular mallet. You have the tenderizer side and the flat side. We're going to use the flat side for this. You can feel it. So you know everything is even. I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it right here in this bag for now until we're actually ready to bread it. Now, the breading, that's going to be something a little different that we're going to do. Potato chips. Potato chips. So what does the potato chips have? Well, they have, I took, you know it's Disney done differently, right? So they have salt, they have the starch, they have the particular ones I'm using, have a little bit of cheese. So Okay, so now we have our potato chips, we have our chicken, I could go right into the dredging station, but I want to make the topping and let that chill. So for today, what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple slaw. If you remember, uh, the Ronto wrap had a slaw, right? It was a mayonnaise based with apple cider vinegar and salt and pepper. Today's going to be similar, but different. So we're going to start just regular shredded cabbage, nothing special, just your traditional shredded cabbage. And to that, we're going to add some mayonnaise to give it that creamy base. Adding one, two nice scoops of mayo. Now, you're going to start to question and you're going to say, what the heck is this guy doing? Yes, I am adding one, two, three shots of berry juice or ketchup. And for this one, we're going to use rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar is a little bit less uh, acidic. It's uh, actually more mild. And then to bring out a different flavor that not everyone's going to be used to, we're using one tablespoon of sugar. Sugar will bring out the sweetness. Sweetness of the um, will counteract with the um, vinegar that we used. And basically, listen, you know, mayonnaise and ketchup becomes Thousand Islands dressing, right? If you add pickles, we're pickling the cabbage, we'll make it a little different, and you'll see why in a little bit. Now, you could do this with anything that you want. Um, you can add it. You can see the color. It's not red, red. It's not a ketchup-based sauce. It's just going to add the vinegar that's in the ketchup and that tomato base. So think of a uh, cabbage salad that had chopped up tomatoes. You'd be fine with that. And if you use, I actually use no sugar added to uh, ketchup. So 
if I was using traditional ketchup, I probably wouldn't have added the sugar. There's our wonderful slaw. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna move on to the breading. All right, so our dredging station. We just have a little bit of flour uh, put in. When I'm doing something large, like we are with the pie yard, I like to use a larger surface area. I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of black pepper, some salt, season your flour. And we'll put this to the side for a second. And then for here, we're gonna go with uh, two eggs. And I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of milk. That's just gonna make it uh, thicker and it's gonna bind better. Give this a quick mix and scramble. I mean, folks, really, what are we doing? We're making chicken cutlet. We're making a large chicken cutlet. We're making it seasoned. But at the end of the day, we're just making a chicken cutlet. All right, so now we're getting ready to bread our chicken. I'm gonna take those potato chips, I'm gonna pour them out into the pan. Give these a nice, you want it to cover the surface so that it's easier when you bread them. Okay, put that there. Okay, we got our seasoned flour, we have our egg wash, and we have our breading station, right? So this is your breading station. You wanna keep one hand wet, one hand dry. You can use tongs, you can use a fork. You wanna to try to keep them not so it doesn't clump up. That's usually when you're doing large amounts. Main thing is, you need to have your plate where you're going to after. I like always see a lot of people, they set up what they're gonna be uh, fixing and then they, they run around trying to get uh, the, the device that they're gonna put their uh, finished product into. So I'm taking the chicken right out of the plastic bag, right, that we, we held in there. I'm putting that right into the flour. I'm just gonna give it a small press Okay. We'll pick it up gently. Turn it over into the other side. Some of that to come off. And from here, we'll go into the egg. Okay. And again, you don't, you just want it to just sit in it. You don't want to drown it. The top is completely dry still. Let some of that run off. Go in with the other side. And now into our breading. Here, I like to push it down a little bit. Mix some on top to get it started. Oh, look at that. Now you gotta remember, this is a, the, that one piece of chicken that we've, uh, we've pushed down, made it flat, made it very large. And the potato chips are being added to it. When we fry it, it's gonna cook very fast. Okay, so we have our chicken. Now that it's coated in all the potato chips. And you really want this part to, to rest. Um, you, you're anxious, you wanna go. And we're gonna put this right into, uh, this is coating perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna put this onto our plate and there you go so that's our one piece of chicken that's now been coated all right so we have our uh our chicken our oils up to about 370 372 um 
Just be very careful with this part, folks. <clears throat> so, apologize that my hand's probably going to be crossing in front of the camera, but I'm not getting burnt. I'm going to put that in. I always like to just give it a quick move so it's not, nothing sticking. This is going to cook fast. Um, we pounded out the chicken so it's nice and thin. And the hardest part is going to be um, flipping it. Now, you can fill up more oil in here so it's fully submerged. Um, I don't like to waste oil like that for the one piece that I'm doing. Um, we're going to let it go three, three quarters of the way all, uh, you know, on one side, give it a flip and finish it off that way. Remember though, whenever frying, you're just giving it a bath so you can flip it over multiple times. Now what's happening right now is you're going to be seeing the, uh, flour and the egg is actually going to start to cook faster. The darker part is actually going to be from the potato chips. Now folks, you don't have to use potato chips. You can use panko breadcrumb, traditional breadcrumb. Hell, try pretzels, I don't know. Have fun with it. The one good thing is that when this is cooking, you can actually see how much of the chicken has been cooked already. And always have your stuff prepared, right? I have my tongs, I have my spatula, I have my drain uh, station, where it's gonna be going to. That's going to help you out so much when you're preparing any type of dish. So just to have all your uh, utensils that you need in place. Let's see how this is looking. The traditional sandwich is served on a uh, brioche. I'm using uh, pretzel bread. Why? Because I use potato chips on the chicken. Potato chips, pretzels, and also I can. But something I did earlier was I took ranch dressing and sriracha mayo and I mix that together and let's grab the star of the show look at that oh and remember we had the uh, coleslaw but before I do the coleslaw I think we just got to give this just a little shot of this uh, chipotle ranch basically that I made. We'll give this a nice dollop of the coleslaw. Build that up. And there you go. That's our uh, Pim's Kitchen uh, chicken sandwich. Um, you guys tell me. Does that look like some good eating? I mean, basically all we did was a chicken cutlet. We breaded it with potato chips. All right, so fun part, right? Let's go. Give this a little cut. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that uh, coleslaw on there. Chicken's cut moist perfectly. Let's see. Mmm. <laughs> Folks, you get the, the crunch of the potato chip, a little kick of the sriracha with the ranch that brightens it up. That coleslaw is so cool, uh, sweet and tart. Listen, this isn't for everybody, but Avengers Camp is Disneyland. They tried it, we're doing it differently. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, if you wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends, tell your friends, from my kitchen to yours. Till next time.